Hello Capricorn, welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your money and career and spirit messages, tarot and oracle card reading for September 2022 or the next 30 days. We're jumping right in here with the Power of Surrender cards. Then we'll go into some tarot, some other oracle, and we will end with some angel cards. All right, what do we have for Capricorn? Okay, surrender your belief in scarcity. Very interesting. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Very beautiful message, and that's a very challenging thing to do, is to surrender our beliefs in scarcity, in learning that we have enough and letting go of that fear of always having to be ready, um, having to defend ourselves, protect ourselves, all that is good, but in a healthy way, not in excess, and not to the point where we're scaring ourselves, right? We need to just be as proactive as we can, and in our better moments, look toward the future, look toward the good things in the future. And I say in our better moments because it's also important to acknowledge when we're feeling down. Acknowledge it, love yourself, and then try to uplift that mood and move forward. All right, so let's go over to the Everyday Witch Tarot. What do we have for, whoops, Capricorn. Awesome, the Three of Wands. This is seeing results, I really like this. So. Um, in relation to surrendering your beliefs in scarcity, I feel like any efforts that you put forward, you will see results quite quickly. It's just a matter of getting yourself into the mental and spiritual space um, when you start feeling um, hopeful, okay? Feeling hopeful, and then that leads us to taking action, maybe looking for a new job, um, realizing what influence are not good for us and which ones are good for us and knowing how to set boundaries um, that's what well many of the things that lead to success okay so let's go further here oops what else do we have for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus so Capricorn check your other signs there could be additional messages there for you I don't know if I mentioned my name is Monica I just kind of dove right into this reading. Okay, so the Three of Wands, and we also have the Ace of Swords. Oh, I feel like there's a big breakthrough coming in for you during this time period, Capricorn. Very excited. Um, call on St. Michael, too, to protect you, um, protect your ideas. Um, I'm getting for some of you, protect your reputation, and this isn't anything to be afraid of. I'm not saying that at all. Um, but ask to have your reputation protected. Maybe somebody in the workplace um, is trying to go after your position or a position that you're also applying for. Um, there's more to that. It will come to me as I go further, maybe when I get to the clarifiers. Okay, here we go, the Seven of Wands. So um, this is clarifying that Ace of Swords message already, at least one of the messages. Um, this is just about defending yourself. You can't be harmed. Just speak up where is appropriate. You don't need to fight. Um, you don't need to fight like, uh, who am I trying to say? Something that um, you've already won, okay? Like you've already won. You just might need to speak up and defend yourself against someone who has the wrong idea about something about you. For someone listening, it could be someone that has the wrong idea about your credentials and you just need to clarify. So if you're applying for a job or if this is in, in the workplace and you are um, trying to get promoted, whoever is above you in charge of promoting you, um, they might not know your credentials because when you first applied for that job, your resume um, had different things on it, but it didn't have the additional skills and abilities that you have. So like say in a meeting with this person, you might need to speak up and say, you know, in addition to the resume I gave you on our you know, initial interview, I do have these other skills just so you know, because I feel like somebody doesn't know that. And once they find out, they're gonna be like, oh wow, you know, I didn't realize that. And you'd be the perfect person for this position but it's a matter of speaking up for yourself. So that's where I'm getting the Ace of Swords. Um, truth speaking up.
throat chakra, okay? So there's a lot of blues jumping out at me here. Uh, throat chakra, so exercise um, your, your voice, your voice. It's time for you to be heard and be very, very clear about how you represent yourself, Capricorn. You have a lot more skills and experience, I think, um, than you show. Okay, oh, well, we have the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. This Whatever's going on here is leading to happiness and bliss, fortune after difficulty, happiness with people around you. This could be in your friend group, your family, the workplace. Um, look at the little kitty cat. So your pets, just peace and enjoyment, flow, um, easy flow with the people that you're interacting with. Okay, that, this is where this is leading. Okay, so let's go in and clarify the Three of Wands, Ace of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. What else do we have? Whoa, for Capricorn. Not that whole big chunk, but the one that popped out and flipped over, ta-da, is the Wheel of Fortune. Awesome, new cycle, and it's the number 10. This is a new cycle for you. It's time to see results of your hard work. It's time for you to show yourself, put yourself out there, speak up. I think you need to tell yourself, hey, I'm a lot more skilled than I tell people. Um, the job that I currently have, like maybe I do such and such, but I'm capable of more. Um, I have these other skills as well. I don't speak about them. Um, for example, like a, a job that I used to have, I, um, I stuck to my position because I wasn't really happy there. And I didn't really talk about my other skills and my other certifications because I didn't want to promote that in the place where I was working. I just didn't want to because I didn't want to be there. But as time moved on and I moved away from that place, I felt more free to speak up and out about what I actually do, what certifications I have, what credentials I have. So if this rings true for you, um, please comment below. And um, if this rings true for you, this message is for you. So I feel like once you're in a space or physical place where you're happier, you'll feel free to speak out about what your skills actually are, okay? Or um, what additional skills you have, okay? And this could have to do with where you're working or with your own business, if you have your own business or, or if you're starting your own business. It's all how we present ourselves and what we're trying to achieve. For example, if you're applying for jobs and you're applying for different types of jobs, you might have different resumes that stress specific skills for those, I can't speak, for those specific positions. That was a lot to get out. Okay, so let's further clarify here. What else do we have for Capricorn? Wheel of Fortune also could have to do with money coming in, positive change in finances, positive change in relationships, better flow with the people in your life. This might be new people, like if you're switching jobs, um, if you're moving, because we've got the Wheel of Fortune at this end and the Ten of Cups at this end. The Ace of Swords, oh, another Ace is being clarified by the Ace of Cups. A uh, bright new beginning during this time period. There's, I'm getting a lot of peace and contentment. So if you have not been experiencing peace and contentment, ca contentment Capricorn, I am full of tongue twisters lately. Um, that, then the energies are there for you, okay? It's a matter of what you choose. Okay, you can choose chaotic connections, chaotic friendships, chaotic job positions, or you can choose the ones where there's a flow, where there's fairness, where you can shine. You might need to step outside your comfort level a little bit, but I feel like once you do this, you're going to take a sigh of relief. You're going to be like, yes, this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm not supposed to be struggling everywhere I turn. All right, so the Seven of Wands is being clarified. Oh my gosh, the Ten of Pentacles. You have 10 three times here. So the Ten of Cups, ten, uh, ten of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, which is 10, and the Ten of Pentacles. Better money. Um, I feel like there's a surprise having to do with money. Finances are becoming easier for you. This is also about unexpected income, unexpected money, legacy, trust fund, that type of money. Um, this could be something that you're creating for yourself. I feel like you're finally um, finding your ground and finding some, some stability here. 
and there's stability all around you. I love this. Let me show these together. Both of these tens, there's like ultimate joy and happiness. So for those of you struggling financially, um, that is meant to end soon, okay? It's, it's the energy's there for you. It's all a matter of your free will and what you choose to do with this, okay? But um, this is really strong. I feel like this time period could start a big new turnaround for you. And you might really, really start to see some change that brings in a lot of hope. And that hope will keep you motivated to keep going. The Ten of Cups is being clarified by the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. So take that deep breath. Your wishes are coming true. What are you wishing for? Are these wishes realistic? If they are, take steps in that direction because it's meant for you. The energies are here for you. Um, I feel like some of you do need to take a getaway like we see on this card here. The witch on this card, she's meditating on the beach. The water is flowing. Um, I feel like the air is very cleansing. There's some joy here. She has her little kitty friend with her. Um, it's about abundance too. So what is abundance to you, Capricorn? Okay, is it money? Is it love? Is it good health? Ask yourself that and strive for those things because they are meant to flow to you freely without struggle. If you're coming into struggle, know that that's not the direction to go. Sure, there are challenges. Sure, we need to step out of our comfort zone. Um, but it shouldn't be that kind of struggle that is like total resistance where you're trying so hard to make something happen more deep in your gut you know it's just not meant to happen um let go of that okay surrender all of that but strive for what does feel like it has more of a flow explore that a little bit go further go further feel it out and things should flow and, and fall into place for you so the three of wands and the wheel of fortune is being clarified by up from the depths so this is the energy and spirit oracle releasing difficulty see what we're talking about up from the depths you are releasing difficulty positive turn of fortune with the wheel of fortune you're releasing this if you choose to if you choose to release this difficulty god will take it from you give it to god God, source, however you pray, give it to your guides, your angels. Take, please say, please take this away from me. I am ready to release this difficulty, this scarcity, this um, poverty consciousness, this difficulty. Take it away. I'm ready. And start climbing that staircase toward your opportunities. Okay. Clarifying the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Oops, I went the wrong way. I took it from the wrong part of the deck. Oh, beautiful. Letting go of urgency. I like this. 19. So if you like numerology, we have 6, 19. Guess what that breaks down to? 10. So we have 10 four times. So look up 10 and 40. And also 4 because that breaks down to 4. Surrender freedom from time constraints. Okay? So if you feel like you're rushing, you're rushing to get a good life. You're rushing to be happy. You're rushing to do this, to do that that's something that's blocking you okay it's that rushing energy don't do that to yourself capricorn enjoy every moment of your life try to find joy in every moment okay the good things are there for you and they're going to stay there as long as you keep yourself open to that um if you're rushing 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 to hang on to it as if it's going to slip right through your fingers then it probably is or the things you're grabbing for out of fear you're going to lose them they're probably things that weren't meant to stay so I hope that makes sense. The Seven of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles is being clarified by Relaxation 39. And that brings, that brings down to 12 and 3. Peaceful pursuits and happy times. I love this. Whoa. Okay, so that's the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Time to let go of the struggles. Know that you're the winner here. You are the winner. And it's time to stop focusing on what you are fighting so hard against, okay? It's time to take a breather, relax, stay away from it. And as you start to feel better, be careful not to tell yourself that all that chaos that you were dealing with before, that you can handle it now because you feel better. Don't invite it back in, Capricorn, trust me. The Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups is being clarified by Elementals, and that's another three. Twelve, and that breaks down to three. So look up 3 and 33, because that's coming up in this reading. 
nature spirits and the four elements so know that you are protected from all angles your guides and your your angels are protecting you in every way call on them they will assist you when you ask for assistance okay that's our job is to ask for it um, getting in tune with nature here because this looks very nature loving um, get in tune with nature you are an earth sign so it might be important for some of you to be out in nature um, out in the fresh air maybe go to the beach for a hike um, I'm picturing someone like near a creek or something like that um, just near the water um, and if you can't do that uh, maybe taking a bath if you like to take baths just being in the water might help um, yeah just whatever whatever um, outdoor outdoor element makes you feel grounded whether it's putting your feet on the ground or in the water in a creek um, even if it's a swimming pool okay that can be very grounding for a lot of people no matter what sign you are no matter what element I used to have access to a pool it was my neighbor's pool and um, it was nice to be able to go there um, and just you know not have to worry about you know being like a public pool or something like that which really wasn't my thing so it was nice to just like be there with a friend or my daughter and have some privacy and it was so peaceful I was like my gosh I didn't realize just swimming outside um, where it's so quiet and peaceful and being able to hear the birds and all that like I just didn't realize it was very healing for me during that time period so that just popped into my head I haven't thought about that in a while so maybe somebody listening needs to do that okay okay this is the wisdom of doubt you have grounding speaking of grounding what the heck oh my gosh that is just so weird that is very synchronous and um, wow sometimes it's like a bit much to take in a good way because I was just talking about grounding and look at this okay it says stand up forcefully for what you believe your strength and intelligence will get you through don't rush your decision based on limited information welcome others constructive opinions but don't allow yourself to be pushed perfect so that message is really synchronous with the seven of wands okay I feel like you have won um, stay grounded stand up for yourself um, you're going to get through this um, no rushing um, no rushing to hang on to things that you want because if they're meant to stay they will don't do that to yourself and um, stand your ground stand your ground but don't fear don't fear that anyone can take anything away from you Capricorn all right so let's go over to the angel cards this is called the love angel oracle deck what else do we have for Capricorn gentleness I love it look at the beautiful colors it's not how others make us feel that is important in life but rather how we make others feel okay so the main message here is don't worry about other people's agendas what they're trying to push on you take care of yourself and look at this this is what's been happening too in these readings the angel cards and the surrender cards the colors have been jumping out they've been synchronous okay so this time it's purple which is crazy so meditate on your crown chakra here's more purple popping out power so the power right now is in your crown chakra energy obstacles are placed in our way to see if what we want is really worth fighting for wow wasn't I saying that okay so what is a struggle what is too resistant what is a healthy challenge and what flows like ask yourself these things and see how the purples are jumping out here so that's another wild thing that's been happening um, and also this um, I don't know what you would call this color but this bluish purple that's popping out in these two cards here and it's kind of drawing that shade out from the middle card a little bit too to me so um, violet violet um, and your crown chakra all right very powerful messages here Capricorn thank you so much for being here please like share and subscribe and I will see you again soon